reps, which we'll do for reps, with four cardio moves that you'll do for 30 second intervals. Now what's great about this workout is that each of those cardio moves also really works your core. However, you need to do your part as well. If you focus on your lower abs, you should do great. Just try to maintain good form, and if you can't, stop and take some rests instead. With that, I am gonna go warm up before I start this workout. You should too, and I want you to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a bonus core move to do, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks as well. So without further ado, onto the workout. Here we go, angry crabs to start with. Spider-Mans, these ones are deadly. Okay, I've finished the first round. I'm gonna do two more rounds. You should try to do at least one to three more rounds of this workout. All right, you made it, you stuck around to the end, and now it's time for some tips and your bonus move. So here's your first tip. I am using an app called Seconds Pro. Uh, it's on my iPhone, you can get it on Android as well. And I have set up my own interval training workout on here. The intervals are two minutes long and 30 seconds long. So I set it to start with the two minute interval when I'm doing the strength movements. Now I know I'm gonna finish my reps before two minutes are up, but then this allows me to just skip ahead as soon as I'm done to the 30 second interval, which is how long I need to do my cardio move for. Then as soon as that's over, it beeps and I go on to the next one and repeat. So Seconds Pro, I like the Pro app because you can save your um, individual workouts that you create. Okay, your second tip has to do with the fire hydrants move. When you do that move, I want you to focus on keeping your core very, very still. So your hips, your ribs, and your shoulders should not be moving around while you do the motion. Especially be sure that while you're lifting your knee out to the side, that you're not hitching up the same hip to kind of make it easier for yourself to get your knee up there. So keep your hips square and parallel to the floor. When your leg is outstretched at the back, ensure that you're not arching your back or trying to kick your leg up super high. It only needs to be parallel to the floor. So really still with your hips and your spine throughout the fire hydrant workout. 
All right, and finally, I'm gonna give you my bonus exercise, which I call penguins, because it looks like you are a penguin waddling around while you do it. It's awesome. Here we go. Here's what it looks like. So, feet flat on the floor, knees bent, roll yourself down until your back is on the floor. Lift your shoulders just off the floor, just the upper part of your shoulders, and outstretch your hands. Now you're going to alternate reaching your hand towards your same heel, back and forth. Here's where the penguin waddling thing comes in. Now, as you do this, aim to keep your shoulders at a consistent distance off of the floor. So it's not that you're rocking side to side like this. It's in fact that you are um, shifting your shoulders side to side like this, okay? So another thing to think about is you don't want to get all crunched up like this so that you're um, straining your neck while you do this. So just imagine that you're holding an egg between your chin and your chest the entire time. So that keeps it from scrunching. Otherwise, you'll break your egg, right? So that's the whole program for penguins. And you just want to keep going back and forth like this for time. So I recommend that you start with 30 seconds and build up to a minute at a time. There you have it. It's your awesome core interval training workout from Roller Derby Athletics. If you like this, then like it, share it with a teammate, and even think about subscribing to my YouTube channel so you get all my videos. Till next time, I'm Moody Quake. I just kicked your ass. Now you can go kick somebody else's.